Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. Now, every year I do a Christmas theme design and 3D print. And usually, true to my nature, they're always last minute. Now, this year, instead of designing an ornament, I'm going with a holiday card. Not just any old boring holiday card. This is a snap apart and build your own gingerbread house kit that comes in the form of a holiday card. So. I've got a few here um, in different colors that I'm playing around with and actually one in the Prusa Mini right now printing. So yeah, small enough you can fit it into uh, on the Prusa Mini. And in fact, I made sure it was small enough where you can actually fit it in an envelope. So this right here is a regular, um, just a card envelope that you would you you know, you would get for like a birthday card or holiday card. And here, like, fits right in there, and you can just, there you go. So, yeah, uh, five by seven is the dimension I went with. Um, so yeah, the idea was inspired by Thingiverse user uh, Nakazen, and I'll leave the link below um, to his page where you can check out his amazing 3D printed card kits and maybe uh, even be inspired to design your own like I was. Okay, so here's the built model in Fusion 360. I took this model and created a flat pack version of it where you can print it and then give it to friends and family. And that's just where the fun begins because after receiving it, they can snap apart the pieces and have fun building their own gingerbread house kit. You can see here, I've printed a few already that I'm just having fun kind of playing with different color schemes here. And I've uploaded the STL files to Prusa printers and to Thingiverse. Uh, the links for those are below. It's my Christmas gift to you, so Merry Christmas. And feel free to re-gift it. I've uploaded two versions where I only changed the text on the top here. Um, so one of them says Merry Christmas and the other one says Happy Holidays. If you don't want to do a filament change, another option is to just 3D print it in one color and then you can paint it. You could even use uh, like a marker or a Sharpie um, to give it the look that you want. There are a lot of really valuable Fusion 360 techniques that I use to create this model and I'll be creating separate videos to go through those. Um, it would just take way too long. I mean, I'd probably be looking at like a two hour video if I try to cover everything in one video. I'll also be making the Fusion 360 design file to my Patreon supporters. So uh, see the link below to see how to become a supporter of my channel. Okay, so for this video, I simply want to build this with you. I know, a little different than my other videos, but like I said, I'll save the design tutorials for future videos. Okay, so first we need to cut apart the different sections here, um, and you can just use uh, little snips to break them apart. And so, okay, let me decide which one I wanna build with you, and let me bring the camera angle in so you can uh, see this close up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out just using a pair of snips here, and then we'll assemble it. So these actually will just pop right out, and I'm just gonna get them free for now, and then I'll go ahead and, and come back and clean them up. Um, you wanna be careful here, you wanna actually cut them, because I did try to see if you can just kinda snap them, and the problem with that is that um, the, these, um, I, I made them so thin, just enough to hold it together, that they'll behave as like a thread. If you pull one and then just try to pull it apart, it may just uh, end up like pulling the filament like a thread where it just um, kind of will un, you know, unravel it. So, okay, then you're left with this, got all the pieces. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go back and just clean all these up. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back in and uh, cut these flush. You want them to be flush, otherwise it's gonna interfere with the build here. And we go to snap them together. Uh, this is where a good pair of snips really comes in handy. You might notice that this has actually a different color on the back than in the front. And the reason for that is I just simply ran out of filament, um, this color, and I had to 
swap out a different filament, um, a few layers left to complete the top. So that's the only reason that you're seeing a different color in the front versus the back. Okay, now I got these all cut, we can go ahead and assemble them. So I'm just clear all this out the way. Okay, I've built a few of these and I kind of have a method here that works. So I like to start with the back, uh, back wall here because you've got that long chimney and then you want to grab the roof that has an, an extra long slot. And that's the one that's going to go on the chimney here. And you can see here that um, the chimney is actually beveled there, which is which is really nice because what happens is, so if we go ahead and just push these in, when you put the other chimney with that bevel, they're all going to meet at, an, um, or both of these are going to meet at a nice edge here. So if we bring this other chimney here, that should just snap. Actually, you want to make sure that the beveled edge on that is facing up. And then we're going to snap that into the little tab here. Go ahead and snap that in. Now these, you know, they're not, it's not Legos here. You're not going to get that you know, really satisfying snap, but it will be enough to hold them in place there. And there's not that much material to work with. We're only working with like, you know, that's two millimeters there uh, of thickness. So yeah, so you get the, the back end there, that chimney will hold that really nice into place. And you can see this, it, you know, it holds pretty well. So you shouldn't really need glue, hopefully not. I mean, I know designing something like this is going to be, you know, different with every printer. Every printer has, you know, slightly different tolerances. Um, and I, I designed this at 0 0.2 millimeter clearance. So let's go ahead and get this front wall on here now. And sometimes you do get actually that nice satisfying snap right in there. And then, so there we go, we've got the front and the back wall. Now, the way I did that, uh, that clearance there is after I designed it, I went back and did an offset um, to each of these sides, all the, uh, the tabs that are, um, well, where the tabs go into, um, sort of the inner void there. At first, I tried 0 0.15 on each side, but that was too loose. And I'll show you an example of that. So this, um, this was one where I was at point um, 0 0.015, which meant you know, combine it, you're looking at a 0.3 millimeter clearance. And you can see there, the problem with that is that was just too loose and this just pops right out. It doesn't hold it in. So then instead of 0.15, I did a 0.1 offset and then that gave me a total of 0.2 millimeter clearance. And that seemed to work well. And I've tried it on a couple printers here and it, it works well. So, okay, I'm gonna line this wall up here now. And I'm gonna go ahead and snap that in. And that holds like that. Let's go ahead and do the other wall here. And so, you know, you may have to play with it a little bit, but once it does get in there, you know, it should hold nicely. And then we'll go ahead and get the bottom plate in. So, our foundation here. We'll go ahead and line that up. And yeah, there we go. So very satisfying once it comes together. You can see there the front, the side, the back, the side. Then it should hold pretty nicely. I mean, you know, if you're getting your, if yours is, is too loose or coming apart, a little dab of, of crazy glue here and there should work. But I've done a few of these in different printers and look, I can like do this and it doesn't fall apart. So still pretty sturdy, pretty happy with the way it came out. And then we can build a little village here. So you can see all the ones I started making here. And uh, yeah, got my, my little gingerbread town going. But I need to stop building them so I can give them as gifts. And that's how you build these. Oh, I forgot to mention, this one I actually did in uh, wood fill. So it's wood PLA, wood fibers in PLA. Um, this is sort of, it's, it's one of the more lighter colors I've seen for wood fill, but came out pretty nice. 
Um, so yeah, got my village going. Uh, I'm going to be cranking these out today and tomorrow. So you can see the printer is still going. It'll be running all day. And I hope you like my Christmas gift. So have fun printing your own. The files to get these are below um, where you can get the STL files to print them. And if you want to play around with the Fusion file, um, those I'm making available to my Patreon supporters. So if you want to support the channel, I have a link down below where you can support the channel and get the, the Fusion files as well. All right, guys, I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. Uh, stay safe uh, and have fun. And I'll see you soon.